Good morning guys, it's Mindy from Cute Girls Hairstyles and today I'm going to film what is my most requested video of all time, hair care routine. Um, first of all, I would guess that probably 60% of what your hair is like is just flat out genetics and there's not a ton you can do to change that. But the other 40% is how you take care of your hair and the products that you're using and that's the part we're going to talk about today. So first of all, some just general basic hair care tips. Always drink a ton of water. Always eat good fruits and vegetables because what you're putting in your body is what's growing out, you know, helping that hair grow out healthy and strong. Um, vitamins, I always have my girls drinking milk because milk, the vitamin D, helps keep your hair really nice and shiny. Um, I would say regular hair trims. So even if you're trying to grow your hair out, make sure that you're still doing regular trims just to keep the ends healthy and from splitting and getting brittle and dry and dying. Don't overwash your hair. So that's another one. Um, I, every time you wash your hair, you're stripping all your natural oils off of your hair, and um, then your body thinks that your hair is dry and it builds back up that oil, and so your hair gets more and more oily. And so if you wash every day, your hair is just getting really oily. So it's very important that you wash your hair like every three, maybe even four days, just depending on your hair. That way your hair is staying nice and refreshed. People ask me all the time how I go three or four days without washing. It's just because my hair's used to it. When you first start doing this, your hair is going to be oily and you're going to probably hate me, but after a month, you're going to love me because then your hair is going to look great, even though you're not washing it every day. And last but not least, just general hair care, try not to overuse heat products. So tools, um, your curling irons, your straighteners, your blow dryers. I like to mix it up on my girls so that they don't use them quite as frequently, but always, always, always use a heat protectant. So this is my first product I would recommend, just a heat protectant in general. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to my personal beauty regimen with my hair. Shampoo wise, I am a mother of six children. I can't afford super expensive products, nor do I feel like they're necessary for your hair. So I tend to kind of switch and swap and buy whatever I can find on sale. Right now, I'm really enjoying the Suave Professionals Anti-Dandruff. Even if you don't have dandruff, it hydrates your scalp, and I really, really like the foaminess to this one, so it smells good as well. Um, if you are a person that has tried all of your generic store-bought products and hates all of them, I would recommend something like Bedhead. Bedhead is a pretty good, um, it's like a professional hair care line, and I do like their shampoos and conditioners. And if you're somebody that likes more of your organic products that have less of the alcohols and stuff in them, I do like the organics um, stuff. This one in particular, this tea tree mint, oh, it smells so good. When I put this one on my kids, yummy, yummy, yummy. So any of those three, mix it up, try whatever you want, find what works for your hair. I am less picky about my shampoo and conditioner and more picky about the products I do other than my shampoo and conditioner. So, which one of them would be my coconut oil? So, not that you have to buy this specific brand, but coconut oil in general. Now make sure when you're buying coconut oil, you buy, buy pure, raw coconut oil. That's the best stuff. You can buy this in most local grocery stores by the cooking oils, so like where your olive oil is and your canola oil. This, it comes like a kind of a hard, gooey, like it's more of like a paste. What I do is just put it in between my palms like this and rub it around and you can see that it starts to melt from the heat of your body and then you run it through your hair. I do this in the shampoo and my hair has been steamed by the hot water and it's all nice and open, the cuticles are nice and open. And then I let this sit on my hair for like 20 minutes. Then I wash it off just like I would normally wash my hair. Sometimes you might have to wash it twice just to get a little bit of the residue off the tops of your hair. But this is going to soak down into those cuticles and really, really, really moisturize your hair. Great, great product for any type of hair. I use this on my kids with their afro hair. Works like a charm. Love this stuff. On my hair, I do this like maybe once every two months. Not very often. So just once in a while when I need a deep, really deep condition. Um, my next favorite product probably is my oils. So I use two. This is Pakia oil. Um, this is, and this one is argan oil. Some of you might be familiar with argan oil. It's usually called Moroccan oil. This one's made from the nut of a tree in, from Morocco, an argan tree. And this one's made from a nut of a tree in Brazil. They're very, very similar. They're made up chemically very similarly to each other, but one has a little bit more 
oleic acid, one has a little bit more linoleic acid if you want to get really technical. The argon oil is a little lighter, and if you squirt a drop of it on the plate, you can watch it run. And then the paquilla oil, you can see that it's not going to run as fast. It's just a little bit heavier, a little bit thicker. So I think the paquilla oil is great for dry hair, curly hair, frizzy hair, really thick hair, and the argon oil is really good for your thinner, straighter hair. I love them both. We use them both. Um, I put it on my hair after I am out of the shower immediately so my hair is still wet and I'll just put like one drop in my palms, rub it between and then rub it from like the nape of your neck down because it's an oil so you don't want it up in your roots. Just go like this through my palms, get it on to any like of my ends and it really helps keep those ends staying healthy and not as um, fried from like my heat. Just so you know, these oils I think they run probably like 20 to $30 a piece but they last forever. I've had this bottle for like six months and it's like an eighth gone because you use so little of it. Okay, next is I, when my hair is still wet, I put in a mousse. Some people put in root boost. This is to just help the roots of my hair, like when I'm blow drying it, fluff up and be nice. So I really like the Suave Volumizing Mousse. My daughters really like the Tresemme um, Volumizing Mousse as well. So take your pick. This one has a natural heat protectant in it, which is kind of nice because then when you're blow drying, it's also protecting your hair. Love both of these. Just take a little bit in your palms, rub it through the roots of your hair, and then blow dry like you normally would. And that just helps give fullness on top. So then I will style my hair like I just normally would, do whatever I want with it. When I'm done styling, um, I actually like to sometimes take a drop of my oil again and rub over the top of my hair just apt to protect it again. And then, of course, you guys have heard me sing praises about this product a million times. Love my dry shampoo. So this is the saving product for when you're going two or three days without washing your hair. You just take this, it spritzes like a really fine, almost like a super, super, super fine baby powder in your hair and absorbs any oil in your roots. So it helps like real look really refreshed and rejuvenated so that you can go those two or three days without washing your hair. So love my dry shampoo. Okay, I think that's it. That's all the stuff we use and how we use it and I hope this video was helpful to you. Oh, I'm gonna need a drink of water after this one. Um, I would say please leave a comment below and just tell us what your favorite products are and also mention what type of hair you have because that can really make a difference too. Um, I will be doing another hair care video but I will be doing it for my two adopted children so their afro hair because it's completely different hair care which is gonna be really fun. Anyway, leave a comment below, tell me what you think, tell me your suggestions, helpful hints, where you find your products, anything like that, and we'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.